Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In an unexpected turn of events yesterday on EAFC 24, we had news of a brand new gameplay update that has sent prices crashing on one specific type of card on the market. Today, I want to discuss these changes and all the news about upcoming content leaks. EA told us about the Adama Traore SPC, what position it's going to be and what that card is going to be like in game. And also, we have Thunderstruck upgrades, a new team of the week, maybe lightning rounds, and a whole lot more coming today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go to yesterday's content, right? All the talk is about the market crash and the update that's coming to this game. But first, we had some SPCs that were dropped yesterday. There were at least semi-interesting, more so because we just don't understand the thought process behind one of those SBCs that was dropped. First of all, we had a Bulai Idea SBC yesterday. Not a bad card, not a great one. Again, at least with these SBCs, EA makes them cheap. 45,000 coins, if that interests you, go ahead and get it done. Radioactive Challenge 3 for a number, another tradable pack. Can't complain about that. But this is the one that's confusing. The Management Change Upgrade. It is a tradable player pick, guys. Containing one of five bronze, silver, or gold managers. Like, yes, there is an upgrade pack that was released yesterday for managers. And yes, I did it because it just sounds that crazy. But it's terrible value. An 81 rated squad. Okay, I understand why EA dropped this. Because there are extinct managers on the market. But if that's the problem, this is not the fix. Especially for an 81 rated squad. And yes, you made it tradable. because So you want to supply the market with these managers. Up the pack weight on some French managers if this is how we're supposed to get them. Like, I don't think this is the way to solve the problem, man. So, it's too expensive. It's almost a joke that we have to do an SBC to try to get one of those managers from one of those leagues that we can't obtain off the market. It's honestly just a joke, and that's my thoughts on it. I really don't know what else is out there to say about it other than it should be a bronze squad or at least really cheap because uh, it's more expensive than going and trying to snipe a French manager off the market for actual 5,000 coins. So, that's that. That was crazy. Uh, we had the 84 times 3 refresh yesterday. It's going to come back today. Guys, lazy list of the 82s and the 83s. 83s, I'm, I'm hearing, are selling for 1.5 to 1.7K on lazy list. 82s sell for 1,000 coins to 1,200 coins as well on lazy listings there. Really good opportunities to just make some easy coins. Lazy listing cards there every single hour. And then, of course, 86s just keep going higher. I think the prices are going to peak on 86 rated cards today with the 84 plus triple refreshing again. I mean, guys, these cards are almost the price. These are actually more expensive now than where 87s were last week. 87s are 19,000 coins. Fodder in general is slowly rising throughout the week as we kind of expected that it would, but they're going to 19k as the 86s are almost the same price. Like we said, as what 87s were early on in the week. It's just crazy how much those are going up because these upgrade packs are actually kind of good. I've done all three each and every day. It's easy to get the 82s and the 83s. You just have to go and buy that 86, which is why 86s just keep going. We also yesterday had a brand new evolution, which we knew was coming. The leak that we saw was spot on and it was correct. The detail-oriented evolution was dropped yesterday. And honestly, guys, this one... It's crazy because actually people, this might be the first evolution that people are doing for fodder. Yes, you heard that correctly. And it's so easy. It is literally two games of squad battles to get this evolution done. You get chip shot, you get trickster, and you get plus seven passing, dribbling, and plus seven, what is it? Uh, plus seven shooting as well. Shooting, passing, and dribbling. It, it's a solid upgrade. And of course, there are no position limits. There's only some stat limits. But this is what people are doing to get it done and to get some fodder right away. And I'm halfway tempted to do this. I know this is not what evolutions are made for. But you can go buy Walsh off the market, her gold card, for 8,000 coins and play two games. And it goes from an 85 to an 89. And boom, you have an 89 rated card for an SBC. If none of these players in here interest you or if you just like, yo, I need the fodder. You can go ahead and do that. I even think that on Onya Battle was about extinct yesterday, or is almost extinct. Number one, she is kind of usable, pretty usable uh, with her card stats after the upgrade, but also 89 rated fodder, 88 rated fodder for Thomas Miller. I think a lot of people are actually doing this 
in the evolution, but there are some pretty solid upgrades in here. Um, and it's really interesting with this because you can do some nice combos in here, like Chillwell, right? You can do the Relentless meets Radioactive. He gets the um, Energizer Playstyle Plus, which is Relentless, and then he gets a couple other uh, playstyles as well. I mean, this upgrade still, as you look at a lot of these higher rated cards, it's like left backs and right backs. I just feel like that this evolution and the upgrades that you get from it with the um, the chip shot and the one of the passing playstyles, it feels like it is a um, evolution that is just supposed to be for a midfielder or an attacker so there are a lot of good opportunities with this evo it's just very specific with what cards you can put in it from my club there's not a whole lot um, i don't exactly know what i'm going to do with it yet but you have 20 days to decide so you got plenty of time uh to do that one but at least it's easy right can't complain about that so i'm going to say it's a w evo just because it is really easy to do there's some nice upgrades out there for that now let's get into the big news that was yesterday on this game guys it all started out of nowhere with a ea tweet about the fc24 holiday update two hours before content you you kind of see the picture here right snow in the menus erling holland it's like okay holiday time there's a lot going on in here and we're going to break it down at least a little bit in the video today they posted this link of course which takes us to the pitch notes and i want to talk through the ultimate team side of things First of all, this is where it gets interesting, right? Title update number six brings 94 player items to ultimate team. Stop there. That does not mean a lot of people saw this tweet in this news yesterday and were like, 94 cards in packs? No, no. This means there are 94 new players coming as like a squad update. Like new players to be added to the game that have cards that haven't had cards before. Santi Cazorla, Adama Traore, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. It, Sergio Ramos is on that list as well. Those guys are actually going to have base cards on this game now, and they didn't before. Uh, again, they also told us, this is kind of funny, man. EA's been releasing these content tweets, right? They tell us what content's upcoming, and now they're just telling us what SPCs they're going to drop this week. It's like EA's trying to counteract the leakers by telling us about their content ahead of time. They're giving us some info on the Adama Traore Moments SBC, and it kind of goes along with what they're doing in the pitch notes is changing the way how wingbacks work in this game. Adama Traore, guys, like we talked about yesterday, that very hyped SBC, he is going to be a right wing back base position with quick step, flare, and rapid. He could also have other play styles. I don't believe they would list all of them here if there's going to be more. But the real question is, will Adama have that right mid or right wing positioning on his card? And even if he doesn't, you could play him there in game. As long as he doesn't look too defensive in nature for the card that EA give him, you could start in a five back and then just play him at right wing um, with the card in game. So that'll be very interesting when to see when it drops. But Adama is confirmed to be a right wing card with quick step plus flare and rapid. And um, yeah, he's, as they said, going to be one of the 94 additions added to ultimate team in the database. They also leaked Ben Acer, which I think this SBC is today, guys. Uh, I, I think the Ben Acer might be today. And another one, one of the gameplay changes they're making is lessening the press. Um, and I think that a playstyle plus that they're giving Benacer that hasn't been very popular yet, but might end up being pretty popular if these gameplay changes truly take effect is Tiki Taka Plus. And I think that's a playstyle plus that I used earlier on in the year with like Julian Brandt's gold card. And so I think that one's pretty interesting. But we're getting an SBC for Benacer very soon, and EA told us about it. They also updated some star heads, right? Colbell, uh, Luis Enrique was another one. And then this is what the menus are going to look like. There's going to be snow falling in the menus. EA said during the month of December, players will see a seasonal change with snow added cold breath effects and players appearing in their winter kits but then in january it's going to turn to rain so everybody's going to be sad playing this game in january it's just going to be raining the whole time that doesn't sound fun keep the snow i don't know that's my opinion but anyways uh they also added the new jota celebration with the fc logo the triangle uh right there so that was the whole ultimate team side of things and you know okay cool when's this update coming out that's the question I think it might be coming out tomorrow on Thursday, guys. EA tweeted yesterday and said that Title Update 6 will be available soon. And whenever they tweet this, it's out within the next day or so. So it could be today on Wednesday. It also could be tomorrow. Um, sometimes it just depends on how fast they push these updates out to when, like, the consoles get them or maybe Steam gets them. And then they update the game because none of these changes have actually taken place yet and i want to talk about the gameplay changes because this is what is making the market move now we did a video on the second channel really deep diving and reading all of this stuff and adding our thoughts and kind of breaking it down i'll link that at the end of the video if you want to go and check that video out there but the biggest 
part of all of this is that EA has nerfed the finesse shot. Finesse and finesse shot plus play styles have been reduced, slightly reduced, but nonetheless reduced. And that has people selling cards. If you wondered why your Caroline Graham Hansen, why your in, like Icon Raul, Inform Hyunmin Son, or Mohamed Salah or Griezmann was down in price yesterday, it is because of this new patch that is coming to the game because EA basically is nerfing one of the most overpowered ways of scoring goals in this game and prices showed it. Hansen went from 1.8 mil down to 1.4 right away. There were a couple of fluctuations that you could have traded in yesterday with some of these cards, but overall, finesse plus players are down bad. Like if you take a look at the market, all the other finesse plus players are just down a lot in value. There's been a lot of cards moving in and out of the popular page here. Dina Tale is one that dropped off a bunch yesterday. He was over a mil, went down to 880K. So honestly, that's the biggest story on the market. People were like, Nate, why in the world is my icon Raul or Fernando Torres or especially some of the newer cards that were just released in packs that people maybe packed during the best of campaign like inform Hyunmin Sun why is my inform Hyunmin Sun down so bad in value he was 500k now he's 410,000 coins it is because that finesse plus is going to be a little bit less useful now I have to say this guys look at the wording slightly reduced just slightly. These are playstyle pluses on these cards, right? What do we know about basically every other playstyle plus in the game? It makes different animations and it makes that player still very, very good at whatever that playstyle plus is. I don't think, guys, that you have to worry. Like, I have the player of the month, Hyunmin Sun, in my squad. Am I worried that I won't ever be able to score a finesse goal with him again? No, I'm really not. I think I'll still be able to score finesse goals with him. But again, if you look at what EA said in here, the intent with this change is to reduce the number of inauthentic goals scored from players with the finesse and finesse plus. And I had a crazy inauthentic goal for an example of this with Hyunmin Sun two days ago on stream. Like he hit it with his left foot instead of his right on the left side of the pitch. And it was still a finesse shot that looped over the keeper and went in. It's like, you guys know, the finesse shots from way out, way outside of the 18 yard box. And just that crazy angles, not green time that still find their way to the back of the net. Those are a bit inauthentic. And that's what they're trying to stop with that update so it's just crazy how it impacted the market right away because people saw this and were like oh my goodness i gotta go sell these cards because they're no longer going to be that good and now we got to figure out what this new meta is going to be after this update which to an extent yes some of these cards are probably not going to be as op because finesse plus and finesse were really just too overpowered with a slight reduction and a slight nerf they're still going to be good but they won't be as Good. So that's why a lot of these prices are dropping. You know what it kind of reminds me of is the lengthy meta. Remember last year when uh, lengthy was kind of nerfed per se, uh, when they actually just buffed explosive and controlled um, uh, sprint styles in the game last year, FIFA 23. But everybody was like, oh, lengthy is nerfed. It's not as good. And all those cards like Holland, Inform, Sorloth, they just crashed in value. I think Icon Cantona last year. It reminds me of the same thing. Though. That's what I immediately thought of yesterday when I saw, him, saw these prices dropping. I was like, wow, it's like the, the lengthy meta crash from last year. But guys, again, with the, with the Finesse Plus, those cards will still be usable. So I don't think you have to panic sell, but if you're losing a lot of coins on a card, like I don't expect Hansen to go back up to 1.8 mil unless the patch comes out and it's like, wow, okay, her Finesse Plus shots are still super OP. She might go back up, but with this news and with the gameplay change, I doubt she's going to go all the way back up to the end price that she was because, again, some of those cards with Finesse Plus were artificially inflated just because of how overpowered they were, and people always gravitate towards the most overpowered. But there is news, and there are thoughts of what might be overpowered after this upcoming patch, and a lot of people are looking at Trivella cards, and some of the Trivella cards with playstyle pluses like this Ronaldo Trailblazers have started to go up in value as people are investing in and trying these cards out. Trivellas are very good, right? They're maybe as good as finesse shots, but they're not getting nerfed. And that is a lot of people going out to the market and buying these cards because they think that's going to be the next kind of meta way to score goals. 
I've scored a lot of tree velas this year. I wouldn't say they're like crazy overpowered or as OP as finesse shots, but they are very overpowered. And I think that's what has people investing in some of these cards. Like Katoto is up in value. The Ronaldo that we just looked at up in value. The Griezmann uh, Trailblazers Plus, he's up, I think, like 40 or maybe 30 or 40,000 coins from where he was. Just because people are buying these cards to try out with this new gameplay mechanic stuff changing. So if you want to check about more of that, we did upload more on the second channel. If you want to check that out there, take a look there. That link will be right up above right here. Now, let's get into more in the here and now. And today, regardless of whether or not that gameplay upgrade happens today, we have other upgrades happening today. And that is with... The Thunderstruck cards. It's a Wednesday. It is upgrade day for these. A lot of players and icons have clinched upgrades. And especially we're in a really interesting situation with the Arsenal players. Because we had their third match yesterday. Death and Rice in the 90th plus 7th minute with a goal to give them the win. And ultimately fully upgrade all of the Arsenal live cards. Thierry Henry, Gabriel Jesus, and Sol Campbell now They've eclipsed all of their upgrades. They've got it all. The thing is, will EA update these cards like they should? Gabriel Jesus should be going to an 88 rated today and also be getting plus two play styles that suit his card. But all of the upgrades could be based from this last weekend of games as well because all the other cards haven't played a third game yet. They've only played two, right? So that's the interesting thing about this is will EA add those three Arsenal players in to the upgrades that are happening today or will they not because all these other upgrades are based off the weekend? That is something to think about. But if you've invested in any of these cards, right, what I would tell you to do today is just be careful. Look at the card that you have. Like I'm taking a look at some of these lower tier cards Think about a card, it's not quite the same situation as a Karamoa or one of the Pro Live cards that were upgraded yesterday as well. Tovan is up a lot. This whole promo team is up so much because people see the prices moving and they just want to invest in live cards and invest and invest and invest. Guys, these cards are 1000% a sell in the hype. Learn from the Karamoa situation. Sell in the hype for all of these cards. It's fine if you're holding on to them now, but sell into the hype once we get to next Monday. And I'm honestly feeling like that might be the way to go with some of these cards as well, even though it seems different because they're related to the actual performance. And some of these guys are real close or even getting upgrades today. Guys, there are a lot of people that have invested in these Thunderstruck cards as well. And some of them, yes, they could go up, right? You could see Joe Gomez go to like 70, 75,000 coins today, but also... Joe Gomez was 40K when he was invested in a lot just last week, and now he's 65K. The safe way always is to sell into the hype. But for a lot of these cards, I think you've seen them rise up, not to their full potential or to their full price that they could potentially hit, but like Hemp, is, she was under 200K. She was 170,000 coins, and now she is 325. I know she was in a mini release, which makes her more rare, that's a crazy price rise for that card, right? Um, Ansu Fati, who I sold my two that I had yesterday, he's going. He's about to be 460,000 coins. Uh, he was 300 while he was in packs, and he's already up this much. He's not even getting an upgrade today, and he's up that much, right? Some of these cards I do think are a bit inflated. I think I would think about selling in the hype, but it's kind of up to you and what cards you have. Now, I sold all my Thunderstrucks basically already besides the ones that I'm waiting for fodder upgrades on. And like Klosterman got his first win. So, you know, I, I think I'll be able to hold on to him and he could go a little bit further up. But I'm selling most of those in the hype just because I don't want to mess too much with it. Uh, radioactives as well. Let's talk about today because Wednesdays are really interesting days as well with the team of the week. And usually with store packs, guys, Wednesdays are most often days. We saw it last week when they run lightning rounds. Now, they haven't run any this week, but I think today out of all the days this week is the highest percentage chance that they could do so. And if they did, some of these cards would drop. Even if they don't run lightning rounds, I would expect to see a few of these dropping today as well. Usually on Wednesday, heading into Rivals Rewards, you see just a little bit of a dip. And then some card prices rebound back up Thursday into Fridays. People are starting to play their champs qualifiers, especially tomorrow after Rivals. And then also get into the start of Weekend League on Friday. I do think some of these could have a small dip in value, not a crazy crash or anything like that, but just a small dip. Um, so I'd be careful with holding on to too many of these. They're still really good to trade with. They fluctuate a lot, but I would watch out for that. Now with the new team of the week coming today, these are the leaks. These are the names that we have right now. Saka, Trippier, 
Summer, Viega, Hummels, Cruz. It is not looking like a very good team of the week, guys. Not too good at all. Unless there's some more leaks to come and some more players to come. It's not looking that good. But it's a Wednesday. EA could drop lightning rounds. We'll have to see. Now, other things that I'm expecting today as well. Like I mentioned, the Ben Acer SBC, since EA is kind of, it seems, releasing these two SBCs, Adama Traore and Ben Acer, since they're releasing them kind of to coincide with the gameplay updates that are coming right as they mentioned with the press on the wings for like right wing backs and stuff like that and then also opening up the midfield decongesting the midfield they said uh, i think this is an sbc that could be coming today uh, i think adama could be coming tomorrow obviously we have to have the update before we see adama so that's why i think benacer could be today and um, Trey right tomorrow. But one of those two is going to be coming today for sure. And then, of course, we have the refresh of the 84 times 3, as I mentioned. Maybe you look at selling your 86 rated cards. I mean, they might hit 17,000 coins today, and that's ridiculous. But that could be a place where you can make some coins today if you still have some of those. Maybe a good day to lazy list 82s and 83s as well. The other thing that I have to say about fodder is a lot of people are looking at that team of the week upgrade SBC that's going away today. And they're saying, Nate, do we need to invest in Team of the Weeks? Team of the Weeks are still holding right around 23,000 coins, 24K. Team of the Week SBC going away is an interesting proposition, right? It's like, hmm, could this go up? Because there's not going to be that supply there or that craftability there. My problem with Team of the Weeks, once again, is where's the demand? We have some demand for sure. Like, I turned in two Team of the Weeks yesterday into the Mbappe SBC because I'm only three squads away. I'm so close on this Mbappe. I've got three 88-rated squads left to do. Basically two because I've got one almost completed. But with this SBC going away, could Team of the Weeks go up? The answer is they could go up a little bit because there's obviously other SBCs in here, player SBCs that require Team of the Weeks but just not that many. So if Team of the Weeks are going to rise, I don't think it's going to be more than like two, three, four thousand coins. So maybe they go to like 26K. So if you want to try to buy for like 22 and hope they can go up to 26,000 coins, maybe even on some of the higher rated ones like 84s or 85s, it might work out, but I'm personally not going to be investing there because I do believe that once we get towards the weekend, Friday we'll probably get another Team of the Week upgrade, and there'll be a new Team of the Week in packs today even, which could mean if they run lightning rounds, that that could just bring the prices of Team of the Weeks down as well. There's just not as much demand this week, guys, so that's why I'm not going to be investing in that. Now, you thought we were done? Oh, we're not, because there is some news right here about... The next promo, and we're going to talk about this at length probably in tomorrow's video and, of course, into Friday. But it looks like our next promo is going to be called Dynasties Players. And it's going to feature family-related players. The example here are the two Tehran brothers. Um, the, the Tehran, like, man, he had a team of the season card. What was it last year? Kefrim Tehran is his name. Absolutely insane, insane card. He was a beast. And this is what the promo is all about. Brothers, family-related players. But, guys, it's not just regular promo cards it is also icon icon dynasties are coming so you think about hullet you think about some of the other icons that have family links in this game as well and that could be a part of why ea is adding 94 players in to the database there could be some players that aren't added in that relate to some of those icons that could be a part of this upcoming promo as well so watch out for a loading screen today again it's another brand new promo we've never had something like that before the idea here is pretty cool but it's again something that we've never seen before so ea would probably have to at least unveil it to us and give us some information about it early today so watch out for that and then we have along with it some new packs that are in the code related to this dynasty's promo that's why i think it's going to be friday um, this is a big pack that a lot of people are talking about as well. It's a huge icon pack, 87 plus base or Centurions icon player pack. First icon player pack of the year that would contain promo icons in 87 base or Centurions. So you think about Zico, you think about some of those other Centurions icons that would be packable from that pack. That sounds like an SBC to me that could be coming this next weekend. So guess what we're going to be looking at this weekend? fodder for sure look at some of these store packs though there's one called the supreme store pack that is 70 rare golds rated 83 or above with five guaranteed to be 87 or above that pack is going to be very expensive very expensive along with some icon loans in there as well that's crazy so 
I don't know how much that pack's going to be, but it's going to be pretty expensive. There's also some other Dynasty packs in here as well. A Dynasty Micro pack sounds like it'd be pretty cheap. Um, and then some other decent packs in here, probably two, three hundred thousand coin packs in here as well. 35 rare golds, 80 or higher. You look through a lot of this right here, look at all these guaranteed ratings. 35 rare golds, 80 or higher with 187 plus. 60 rare golds, 80 or higher, 287 plus. It's all about EA giving out a bunch of fodder. So if they're going to give out a bunch of fodder through store packs, there's probably going to be some SBCs coming as well. So that's in the news. And then oh, one last thing, guys, one last thing. We have player of the month voting for League One that has just been released. And guess who's in it again? Kylian Mbappe. Back-to-back -back months might be getting a play of the month SBC. Vote to Debo, all right? Vote to Debo or Klaus. Vote to Debo, though, so they're all on the same team, right? I really hope Mbappe doesn't win this award because I'm doing the play of the month, as a lot of you guys probably did. Now, we've seen this story before. Mbappe wins play of the month twice in a row. The first SBC is always a lot cheaper than the second one. We'll see if that is the case this time around, if he wins. But the voting, guys, is open until Sunday. So on Sunday, this is going to close, and we I don't think we'll have the SBC for probably another week, though, because this Mbappe has got 16 days left on it. So it's a short time frame here with this vote. I can't imagine we see the SBC for like another week and a half, at least towards the end of this Mbappe, especially if there's going to be another Mbappe that would overlap with it. That's going to be a whole scenario in the coming days as well, but I'm committed to this Mbappe, so hopefully... If they release a 93 player of the month, it's like super expensive and not as good <laughs> value wise. But of course, you see that and you're like, oh, why did I do this Mbappe player of the month? We'll see, though. We'll see what happens with that. So vote to Debo so we don't get Mbappe. But we'll see what happens. If you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. We'll be trading, watching the market and uh, seeing what brings into the gameplay sphere and how that affects the market with this new patch pitch notes update all the madness that is going on in this game so i'll see you guys on stream today that link is down below in the description check out the second channel vid one last shout for that i'm nathan foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace